Are you guys ready to take your epoxy and woodworking finish to the next level to go from a DIYer to a professional? Well, if so, check this video out. Guys, if you are close to the Richmond, Virginia area and you want to take a small charcuterie board class from your boy from Goodview, Goodview Woodworks, then um, go to Woodcraft of Richmond go to the website and you can sign up for this two-day course we make some really cool charcuterie boards or serving trays however you want to say it um, and this class was really cool um, these guys learned a lot and I know that they enjoyed the class as that's what they had told me and we also had a lot of fun as well so once again go check out Woodcraft of Richmond I'll leave a link down in the description below um, but real pretty you guys did you guys did some really good work great students great teacher. Thanks, man I really appreciate it All right, would you recommend this class? Oh, most definitely. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks guys I just want to save a couple of bucks when you're building your river tables or charcuterie boards Go over to goodviewwoodworks.com and grab yourself some tape uh, When you're taping up your form as your mold release you can save a couple of bucks because we it's three inches wide and also is cheaper than most of the tapes on the market. Um, so go to goodviewwoodworks.com and get yourself a couple of rolls of tape. In this video, guys, we're gonna show you exactly how to get a professional finish on a charcuterie board, but you can also use this if you're building a table as well. Now here we are just vacuuming up the dust off of the charcuterie board before we put the finish on we're going to be using Rubio mono coat and they recommend vacuuming all the dust so that the oil doesn't bind with the dust here we're taking just a paper towel with some water on it and soaking this board down it's called raising the grain or water popping and what that does is just prepares the surface it causes the grain to stand up so that when you scuff it again the next time with the scotch bright pad that it gives you a really smooth, nice finish. Gotta make sure we get both sides here. And then we'll let this dry. And I, right here, we're gonna do a time lapse so you can watch this dry. And this is actually really cool. This is the first time I've done a time lapse where you can see the moisture just evaporating off the surface. I thought this was just a really cool shot. If you notice, you can see like where the crack is in this wood, it actually stays moist longer, the longest right there on the end where the two cracks are. Very interesting. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some 150 grit sandpaper and we're just gonna scuff it down one more time um, before applying the finish. And here we have some mineral spirits. We're gonna take this and we're gonna clean the surface of the board off so that we don't have any dust that inhibits our finish, okay? So after it's dry, we can go ahead and mix up the Rubio Mono Coat. And this Rubio Mono Coat is a three to one mixture. You can let the oil dry on its own, but it takes about three and a half weeks for it to dry on its own. So we have this accelerator that we're gonna put in at a, uh, it's a three to one mixture, three parts oil, one part accelerator, which you see right here that I'm mixing in. So I did three teaspoons of the oil and one teaspoon of the accelerator, three to one. <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and mix this up and then we're gonna spread it out. Now this, what's really cool about Rubio Monocoat is that it doesn't take a lot of oil to cover the surface. So you wanna spread it on I'm using just a little one of my old credit cards here that it's not in use anymore to spread this on. So you spread it on and then I use a non-abrasive scotch brite to really get it even and then I'll put that non-abrasive scotch brite on my sander to really work it into the grain. So now I'm just working this oil into the grain. This actually gives you a much better finish from what I've found. And I'll be linking all these products and materials in the description below so you guys can get a finish just like this. 
Now, any of the links that I leave down in the description, I get a commission on. It's called an affiliate link. But when you go to Amazon and purchase these, it doesn't cost you any more at all. Amazon is just giving me the hookup if, the, if you guys get to Amazon through the Good View Woodworks door. So if you want to support the channel and you want to buy these products, click the link down in the description to buy them from that link. So now I'm just taking a paper towel and I'm wiping off the excess oil. What they say is uh, spread it on, let it sit for a few minutes, and then buff it off with a dry rag or paper towel. And the trick is, what they say is, that you cannot buff off enough. So you want to continue buffing it until nothing shows up on your paper towel. So you want to buff, fold it over, and continue buffing until there's no oil on the paper towel. Until that's, that's how you know that you're done. As you can see there, I just showed it to the camera. No more oil on the surface. Now, Rubio, the name is Mono Coat, but if you read on the website, if you're using black walnut, they do actually require two coats. So I waited 24 hours. We're going to get my old credit card out again, and we're going to spread it evenly across. Now, if you don't want to waste the Rubio Mono Coat because it is expensive, you can now always put um, some plastic over top of it and store it in the refrigerator and that that'll keep it from setting up and once again we just apply it over the surface and take our non-abrasive scotch bright and work that into the surface again for a little bit once you get done working it into all the surfaces make sure you don't forget the edges <clears throat> once you get done working it in once we're going to do the same thing and we're going to take a paper towel and we're going to buff off the excess oil. So here you can just see I'm just making sure that I'm getting all the edges because in the previous shot it looks like I missed I missed the front but I actually didn't. <laughs> so we're going to go here and we're just going to buff off the rest of that oil. Make sure there's nothing on it and you can really tell here now the sheen it gives a little bit more sheen and it's a much more even finish. Guys, thank you for watching. This was an awesome video. I hope you learned a lot. If you like this video, go ahead and share it with, with your friends. Give, smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, do that right now. Click that subscribe button right now and you get tons of content just like you saw today. If you are a good viewer, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for everything that you do in supporting this channel. And as always, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Do me a favor click one of these videos over here, okay? You eating some goldfish? Huh? You got some goldfish crackers? Oh, you can give a kiss? Mm. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs>